Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit. Uh, we are talking about the HRS decisions. This is the 11th session of the HRSD and in this session we will talk about that how we can do the e-signature in the um, HR task. So la in the last task, in some region that checklist was not working and that portal it was not working. So today we'll do one uh, scenario here. So let's say um, 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 the people who are in this, uh, I mean, who are having the issue in the payroll case. So he uploads some information. After that, we, we we thought that we need, the agent needs to be signing his document uh, with the digital signature, uh, within the e-signature. We'll do that uh, steps today. So without wasting time, let's get started. So if I open this HR task and then uh, this was the task that uh, we opened the last time, I guess. And these tasks have one approval, once approved, it is uh, uh, going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, task is going to create and uh, we are having some issues to we are unable to complete the checklist, right? So today we are going to create two more tasks. In one task, we will take some inform information from the user and the third task and the another task will take another information from the HR. So let's get um, um, see how we can doing that. So very first thing in, in, in our uh, here, what we'll do, um, we are going to um, uh, HR template and we are going to create some of the HR template. So this HR template we have created in our last class. So in this HR uh, template, there was some issues, some due to some reason, uh, the checklist was not properly updated and that's the reason we are unable to uh, make close complete on the port from the portal so that's fine i just updated the checklist here and then save that and it started working i'll create two more tasks the very first thing is that i create a one template called hr payroll issue um, um, user document upload upload so this will be one of the tasks and in this task we are going to take some information or we are asking some information from the user. So what we will do, in this case we are going to type the HR task or uh, all the template and then we will click the submit. Once I submit, I will open this task again, uh, this uh, template again and in this template uh, to whom we should be uh, assigned so the this task should be assigned to the parent case opened by who will be open and here uh, we can set the due date uh, so based on the task assignment date we can set that so i'll set that one day okay and the state will be the uh, draft state and HR task we will select that upload document okay so in this case we will ask some of the information um, from the user and we will click the save this template is successfully saved here we can put the short description also we will put that uh, and save the short description so this template is set and after a user will upload the document, some documents, what we'll do, we are going to create another task or another um, uh, template that name is HR payroll, uh, HR uh, signature, something like that. Here we'll put the HR task and then click uh, submit. So what we'll do, uh, here we are going to uh, put here that short description equal to um, show, uh, HR signature and then this case we are going to select that E signature. So what we did, uh, we did last time checklist and uh, after that we did the upload document. Now we are going to uh, create a task with that uh, you know E signature and in this E signature once we select the E signature in the addition uh, to whom it should be assigned. So let's say we are going to assign a particular user uh, so we'll put this user as a um, do the signature okay state will be the ready state and here in the additional field we have a field called uh, e-signature template we are going to select the e-signature template equal to um, 
corporate credit card agreement so this signature will do that and then simply save that okay so this hr template also saved so these two hr template is saved now what we'll do i will go to the hr services here and under the hr services um hr service configuration we'll search that payroll issue and this is the payroll issue hr services we have created and these have the two tasks we are going to create two more tasks so first task we are going to create that um the task is that uh, here um we will type the hr payroll uh user document upload and then this time order will be 30 one more uh, document we are going to uh, create so let's do that here we are going to create task and here we will put that HR payroll uh, HR signature and this will be 40. Now pretty much our HR services is ready. What I will do, I will raise a request and then we will see that it is working or not. So let us first create a, uh, create a request. So create a new request. I cannot raise this HR services from the portal because this is not available into the portal. Um, uh, you know that record producer is empty so in the in the future we'll do that uh, but at that moment i cannot raise the request so from the portal so what i'll do create a new uh, case and i am going to create a new case here in this case my user is the avid tutor and then uh, we'll select the payroll uh, issue here and then create a case so in that case first it will be created in a draft state this state is in a draft state because as I mentioned from the portal it will be in a directly ready state and from the native it will be created in the uh, draft state. After that we will select the ready to work and it will be assigned and it will be generate approval. So let us do that. So it is ready to work and it is assigned to this user and it is generate approval. So now I will impersonate the user and I will show you the complete flow uh, in, a, in a portal. Okay. So I will just open this and impersonate this user so this is uh, this user is impersonated and now if i open the esc portal here in the esc portal you can see there is a to do's so in this to do's if i open that uh, there is a app open and complete sections as i mentioned open sections it is showing the current um, you know hr uh, case number which is nothing which is nothing but this is the case number which he, we just generated and in the requested state so i am going to approve this so i will say okay and approve that so that's the first steps so this uh, hr services is approved now i will refresh to uh, i will end the impersonation and refresh so let's refresh our HR service as admin. Once I approve that, uh, you know, approval is approved and you can see this is approved and one task is generated and this task is assigned basically this user. I'll come, uh, I'll this impersonate this user and show you that how it looks like into the portal. So here I just impersonate that user and we will open this ESC portal. Again, in this to-dos list, we can see that we have a uh, one uh, task. You can see this task is assigned to me and this is the HR task. What I have to do, this is a checklist task. We have to check that the it, it's everything is working properly or not. The, what, the, as for the checklist, it's perfectly fine or not. We mark that ch check all the document and mark as a complete. So once we mark as a complete, it means that this task is done. Previously, we were unable to see um, complete button because the checklist was not uh, properly created on the template. Now I will end the impersonation and see to whom this task is uh, moved. So I'll end the impersonation. Now you can see it is generated one task which is assigned to the able tutor. And this is for the document upload purpose so i'll impersonate the devil tutor and see 
I probably table tutor probably need that um, access for uh, ESC because he don't have I guess he don't have the role but let's see I'll impersonate the table tutor and yeah he have the access if I go back to the to do's reel to do's uh, here uh, the first task that is created 1007 now if you see that this is the 1007 and I cannot mark complete until unless I attach some document so once I will attach the document then only I will be able to complete this task okay so let me attach some document here so in that way you can get some input from the user even you can chat here you can um, you know uh, send some send some message here but here you have to have attached some doc I just simply attach a document it will be shown here uh, in a moment this document is attached and now you can see that complete button is visible and I can mark the complete even if I go back to the history in the history I can see that all the history I'll simply complete this task okay so this task is complete now go back to that end user now end the impersonation scene which stage we are in this uh, task now finally there is a one a task is generated for um, Abraham Lincoln to put the signature I'll impersonate that user too and see how it looks like so I'll impersonate that user here and open the ESC portal So this is the ESC portal. If I click the to dos here, he have uh, he need to be put the signature on particular document. And if I open this document, you will, uh, the document will be completely um, visible here. Your name will be printed and your signature will be printed here. And then uh, you can type your name. And then uh, in the bottom there is a accept and uh, complete button. You cannot see because it's a. Uh, and here you can draw your signature so let's say i will draw my name here here so we'll draw my name here in case if you don't like you can see and then click accept and complete so once we click the accept and complete this document will be attached to that uh, hr uh, task so all this our process is done you can see that our uh, document signature e signature also done let's go back and see finally what happens to our um, HR case so I'll end the impersonation you can see these uh, these uh, these tasks also completed all the tasks are basically completed and we have a specific time on the specific time uh, this task will this HR case will be automatically complete after two days and during the what during the task whatever attachment we have attached all are actually uh, you know present to our um, uh, HR case so this is the doc uh, this is the image we have added if I open to this uh, here here also this signature uh, you can see your signature is attached so the task is attached has been completed into the parent case I'll simply open this record and it detects that the uh, the document is successfully signature so in this way you can take the you uh, you can take that um, user signature also so that's it all about today uh, thank you very much have a great day in next session we'll talk about few more things so till the time please share like and comments in my video thank you very much have a great day